Okay. And we should be going live. Hi, everyone. This is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream. Today is August 17, 2020, and what a year it is. And today we're doing an open discussion on relationships, the do's and don'ts of human interaction. Okay, and we've done uh, a couple of these minimum, probably more. Young Polacks, how are you doing? Test, test. <laughs> hey, Chicho, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. Were you waiting? I usually come on there and do a little test, make sure the chat's working fine. While we wait for notifications to go out, I'm just going to do my little intro. Uh, sometimes Twitch is uh, slow on the notifications. I was. <laughs> so <laughs> fun. It is fun. Sort of chill, relax, get prepared, doing a you know, get into a nice little discussion and see where it takes us, right? So today's live stream, relationships, the do's, do's and don'ts of human, human interaction. And we've done a few of these, uh, at least two, three, four, maybe over the last year or two years or so. And the discussion is always interesting and uh, all kinds of questions, discussions, and suggestions, advice regarding different types of relationship are always shared, which is always appreciate it now as far as who we are uh what we're up to what we're doing if you want to follow this work if you want to support this work we're on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o i don't put anything behind paywalls everything's creative commons share and share alike you can follow this work and after a while of tracking what it is that we do if you do have the funds and if you Think it appropriate you can always support this work through patreon to make sure that we continue with this project the holy spider-man and ground how are you guys doing i'm so excited for this Woohoo! yeah relationships is a kicker man that's uh everything that we're seeing right now happen in the world taking place in the world is because of uh people not really appreciating what a relationship how we relate to others really means right if you want to participate in these live streams in the chat as it's happening twitch is where you want to be at that's twitch.tv forward slash chicho live c-h-y-c-h-o-l-i-v-e okay and for those of you who are here who will be coming here once the notifications goes out and people start rolling in thank you for being here thank you for the discussions mod thank you for taking care of business thank you for the subs thank you for the follows thank you for the bits hannah hey chicho making chicken in the pressure cooker nice with bbq sauce hoping it will turn out while still learning uh the thing nice nice pressure cookers are awesome especially for cooking beans right liam six seven eight nine hey just in time for bed what a treat much love brother lots of love right back cyberpunk chicho are you sicilian <laughs> no but i have uh i have italian friends or should i say sicilian friends one of them being a guido <laughs> graham i feel like i have a lot to say about relationships i think everybody does right now graham there's a lot of deep emotions and relationships involved in teaching huge 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 cheryl how are you doing hi all hello chicho lonely piggy how's it going i'm assuming notifications went out because people are rolling in chicho how's life brother been keeping super busy with the streams i see awesome yeah yeah i'm loving it man it's uh it, what's going on in the world is fuel to the fire for me because uh, it's really sort of encompasses everything that i've been doing for the last 15 years or so online so um it's interesting it's interesting cyberpunk okay because chicho is a nickname for sicilian is it chicho is a nickname for sicilian you gotta be kidding me i think in bulgarian chicho means uncle some people have been saying that already 20 people here that's awesome 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 anna when do you release the valve on the pressure cooker uh, after oh, it depends on the it depends on the meat anna like um what did you have chicken in there i've actually never cooked chicken in a pressure cooker i cook things in a pressure cooker that require high pressure um with chicken it'd be nice it'd be juicy as long as you have enough liquid in there to put it in um roast as well is really good in a pressure cooker uh, but chickpeas like uh, certain persian dishes pressure cooker beans pressure cooker it really depends like for example if something you're going to cook 
in a normal pot under medium you know get it to a boil to and put it down to medium or low heat um, for about hour and a half pressure cooker would be about 25 minutes right so cut cuts back your cooking time by about two-thirds okay uh, just keep that ratio in mind it's a nickname for the name Francis uh, Francis really Chicho Francis ah that's cool man mr. Nobi one love each other be honest in the face of failure otherwise what are we doing on this planet when I got uh, sober I gave up on the lies in relationship peace and love everyone peace and love brother that's a nice highlighted message almost at a hundred thousand K channel points nice spider-man Dax Decker I'm not sure really what that means but nice <laughs> Hey, Chicho and Chad. Hope you're doing well. Chicho, good morning. Pleased to be here. Nice, Jack. How are you doing? And Max, welcome to another live stream. I do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on LOVK, Minds, Gab, Parlor, and Twitter. Okay. If you want to follow this work, you can follow us on those platforms and you'll get notifications if notifications are turned on that when we're live streaming. And I do put out our live stream schedule on Patreon and on our discord page okay and again if you want to follow this work patreon is probably a really good way to do so okay hello shoot here plays how are you doing we will be uploading the audio of this stream because we're recording on lapel mic there's not too much visuals other than my bookcase and me and doing my thing to uh, soundcloud as an audio format as a podcast and these audio files podcasts should be available on your favorite podcasting platform including spotify spotify okay thank you for hosting by one i'm gonna say okay fido condo fido condo sup chicho how's it going jjc how's life hello everyone greetings dr p and blessings of course dragons how's life what up what up and we will be uploading this video this live stream to youtube and bitchute if you want to follow this work bitchute you get everything that we do youtube is a censored version of what we do spider-man thank you for hosting of course as always right and if you want to support this work if you're on youtube joining youtube membership is also a fantastic way to support this project jjc you're currently building a pc man i've i've bought the pc the my editing soft uh, my editing computer i bought all the parts but i was a little sketchy on putting it together so i hired a company gave it to a company to put it all together and it's been a great pc man um it's been going hard for like good almost 10 years uh, a lot of these videos that we've edited i'm going to take these things down but it is having hiccups now i need to build another pc but we'll deal with that when hopefully sooner rather than later anyway lonely piggy funny how the world works been playing some world of warcraft more than ever especially given the social distancing measures which makes gaming all the more perfect met someone talk with them a while and we eventually met up in person wow i'm in montreal she's in ottawa wow 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 weeks later we're dating wow 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 lucky me for finding someone perfect like that and so close on a game with millions of players crazy crazy awesome lonely piggy congrats congrats <laughs> that's great you met one on a uh, world of warcraft that's fantastic man that's the first i haven't heard that one before that's great that's great praise be spider-man <laughs> nice build uh one on st uh, stream when the time comes i'm gonna ask every, you know people's feedback on discord uh, maybe we'll do a live stream and go online and pick what we what i need to put together <laughs> and then order it right build one on stream yeah oh that's what you mean build one i i read that as steam or something build one on stream yeah we maybe we do that right we build one 
uh, during a live stream yeah that'd be great actually that'd be great I thought discord would in the back of my mind I was thinking stream but it would be uh, super cool Nate please watch the Beavis and Butthead episode Butniks they do poetry at a coffee shop <laughs> nice <laughs> one hey chicho what do you think the importance of open discussion is in a relationship not making a joke but you are just a little older than me <laughs> just a little like that <laughs> me so in your experience what what i uh what what i'd better stating stating what you need or opening a dialogue as to what the relationship needs first of all honesty is huge right when it, whatever you do if you're in an intimate relationship i'm assuming this is more intimate or it could be not intimate you got to be honest if you find if you're in a relationship with anyone that lies that relationship do not let it get too close to you okay if you're in a relationship where the other party is lying to you that is not a constructive relationship eliminate that okay or reduce that type of relationship to a bare minimum that's one thing i learned over the years really it took me a long time don't have an intimate relationship may it be physical intimacy personal intimacy work intimacy right don't let anyone that lies too close to you keep them always at an arm's length that would be i think one of the main things i'm not sure if that answered your question or not uh shoot here players i literally just did a bunch of updates to my rig last year nice mick lonely piggy you need a change Ch you need to change your twitch name you're not lonely anymore ah oh, good catch mick good catch new egg has a uh, part picker uh super easy i think that's where we got uh, my computer last time that was like 10 years ago and amazing the new eggs still around okay sleepy waves how you doing what's up chicho just try uh tying for a, a bit tying for a bit the stream is so late eastern yeah i know it's eight o'clock <laughs> i should lonely piggy says cyberpunk how do you have so much patience were you always like this no or did you learn to become patient uh i just decided to incorporate it into my life i don't know if it's a learning thing i think we all have the ability to be patient right when you're young you might be impatient with things that bug you things you don't want to do school family and stuff like this but you're very patient with things that you care about right so being patient i think is part of us we have to be patient to learn right when you learn how to walk you were patient it took you a long time right as a child as an infant you did that you don't know you weren't aware of it but it was a part of you right being patient to a level it comes with age through experience for me anyway that's what is how what well, that's that's the way it's worked and being patient one of the reasons is because i've decided to be that way the other reason is I've eliminated things in my life that made me impatient, right? So if I have friends that were bugging the crap out of me or associates that were bugging the crap out of me that introduced an element into my life that I wasn't, it wasn't bringing out the best of me, right? Or it was highlighting the worst of me, I slowly stopped interacting in those relationships, right? so experience is huge jjc uh is a great place I, you can't post links jjc only mods and myself can place links uh your parts uh, but on discord you can so you can definitely share that stuff on discord um okay uh, it makes sure all of your parts are compatible with each other cool uh watch some videos on how to build a pc and what parts you pick yeah awesome i had i got a friend of mine to do it to pick the parts for me actually at that time right we just went ba, 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 and it came out good he was a uh, uh he was a uh, computer uh he was a teacher uh, he taught computer science in a school so he knew all the stuff and um, i'm not in contact with him anymore lying by emotion is 
also a thing lying by omission is also a thing deception right in the beginning we have to lie or well uh, will scare people away uh, Nate I disagree okay it depends where you are right if they outright if someone comes out to you and outright asks you something and you lie that's on you right if your relationship isn't at a point where you can share deep intimate personal information then sure you haven't reached that point yet but if a person that you want to start a relationship asks you a question and you out like right lie then you've started off that relationship on the wrong foot right you could say you don't have to answer the question you could say i'm not comfortable answering that question right now and move on if that person's wise enough they'll go mm, okay let's go a little slower right nate i think there's a graham says nate i think there's a fair point and a distinction worth exploring can't tell a new mate all yours no and you why should you i have i have friends that they still don't know certain aspects of my life i've been streaming here sharing as much as i can for two two and a half years now right there's a lot about me that you guys don't know right so you don't have to go out and spill the beans and share everything one of the things that keeps keeps relationships hot is um is the unknown right you don't have to sit there and just talk about everything you've done in your life let the relationship grow right because there's going to be things you're going to do together that are going to be part of your life you don't have to hold on to everything you've done before they don't, they don't it doesn't have to be an open book going in right as long as the person is willing to read a book you can read it slowly savor the moment right chicho what keeps uh, things exciting relationship uh, many things experimentation right willing to do things your partner wants to do that you're not really have an experience uh making sure your partner is aware of that not lying uh separation right make sure you have alone time you make sure you have interest that your partner is not necessarily interested in and vice versa make sure you you or your partner if they need that time to spend with other people they have enough time to spend with other people uh giving your partner space is very important right to grow as long as you're growing together right experimentation is one thing honesty is another thing uh, so far anyway relationships are scary when something crazy happens that stuff often leads to you being scared of it or, or trauma yeah yeah uh, trauma breaks apart many relationships right I'm gonna say lying okay of the other person isn't worth your yeah or just avoidance right <laughs> zoot how are you doing hi cutie not sure if i could be with a guy that keeps me at arm's length guys are like video game controllers guys are like video game controllers how so they have a stick <laughs> thank you for the explanation cyberpunk says that helps me my pleasure if it was me my pleasure if someone else thank you for they reply to cyberpunk i lose the name sometimes net what if they aren't worth your truth then don't interact with them i've look i've gone to bars clubs social gatherings and stuff like this when someone comes to me and asks me a question and maybe i've seen them before maybe i know them maybe i don't feel like interacting with them i go dude i'm not into this i'm not into talking to you right and i just sometimes i'm just short with them yeah 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 sorry you gotta go if you're not into it you're not into it it's your life you choose who you let into your life or not hello mario <laughs> elder god where's elder god is elder god here elder god how are you doing many people equate that to a lie nate says what you know a lie is an outlier lie like here for someone comes up to me and says hey uh, chicho do you do you stream online 
I'm not going to go no. Right? Like, that's a lie. Do you, uh, Chicho, do you have a website? No. Mm, no. Uh, that's a lie. Right? If they say, Chicho, do you have a website? I say, well, I, I play around online a little bit. Right? What you guys, guys, Italian programmers? <laughs> Chicho, that is an astute response. I like that. I'm not comfortable sharing that. Obviously, not deceptive. It's not deceptive. No. Then you're lying to us. <laughs> Mick, openness was key for me in my relationship. The ability to take a step back and discuss a tricky situation one or both of you are uncomfortable with is key as long as it is conducted in a calm yet expressive manner that makes sure make sure that the uncom uncomfort is untangled and solved yeah i agree with mick right and uh, one thing you have to appreciate you have to let the other person be who they are right or who they want to be who they want to work towards being right making sure you don't forbid a partner from doing something they need to talk it out right i think we should all keep some things to ourselves i agree with a young polax right chicho is a mystery chicho is a mystery that's <laughs> what keeps us going back <laughs> one you answered my question very well he says uh it's my fault didn't explain the question better there have been times in my life where i thought i had a relationship figured out but it wasn't until the other party explained to me what my importance was to them so the question really is should we lead with this honesty or get it or get to it at a later date it it's a stepwise situation right like for example if someone if you want to get into a relationship with someone for uh, physical intimacy, right? Just physical intimacy. Be honest, straight up. Look, man, I'm not interested in a, you know, I, I don't know if anything long term. I don't have that perspective in mind, but I do want to be physically intimate with one person. If you're into one person, if you want to be multiple people, you, you say, hey, I'm open, but I'm really attracted to you. I want to be physically intimate with you same matter as if you go if you like playing pool for example right i don't know if any of you guys play game well, of course you guys play games but pool or any other types of games really in person right you can join a pool club to play pool there's a little bit of interaction there social and you ask questions sometimes people hit it off and they go out outside of the pool group right pool games on a weekly basis or every second week or whatnot right but for me i've been into pool groups right playing billiards and nine ball and eight ball and whatnot right well where i kept those relationships mainly at the club at the pool table right so you can have relationships with different people on different levels so it really depends on the level you want to go to right if we, if we're talking about intimate living together and stuff like this you better be honest right you can figure stuff out later right but some of the core things you need to be honest about that is a great advice i never thought that not sharing sometimes is a good thing yeah that is another example of patience patience Ch -ch -ch. gang i'm gonna scroll down uh because it seems like there's a lot of chat is there oh there's some i'm gonna hit up the uh the ones that say chicho okay uh lark how are you doing hello in the evening coolio i'm almost at the end so i'm going to read uh, these ones uh hold on any long ones here pa, 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 ch, ch. Um, coolio i've uh i've asked them nicely i've asked them sternly and they keep not listening they keep having one to multiple friends over every other day no mask no anything coolio you can't change them is it time to move sometimes in a relationship you just need to part ways right never try to hold on i know moving is goddamn right now very very difficult very very difficult right so is that a possibility is that a possibility right coolio one of my roommates have has had bad asthma too so it's endangering his actual life is he the one bringing the friends over 
If he's willing to endanger his life, it's on him. Really, you have no control over that. You can't control people from risking their life. I left a note for them on our kitchen whiteboard saying if they keep doing it, I may resort to getting landlord involved. It's so frustrating because now I'm going to be seen as the bad guy. Yeah, you're going to be seen as the bad guy. The other choice, Coolio, if you can, uh, if you feel that stressed out, because if they decide, so for example, let's say they're not bringing people over to your apartment anymore, right? Well, they're going to hold that against you. So that relationship is already poisoned to a certain degree. There's going to be animosity there. You guys are going to clash again right so where how far are you gonna are you willing to go down that road right i don't do relationship i like to keep it simple <laughs> elder god says nine ball is my life <laughs> nice nine ball is amazing man nine ball is man i miss hardcore nine ball really i'm an american and i'm swearing off dating americans they're too entitled. I don't know, Coolio. I don't know. I don't know if you can put 330 million people in one basket, right? Shoot your players. Isn't that in and of itself slightly entitled? English girls are very flexible in relationship, Elder God says. We're entitled to having our own privacy. Yeah, for sure. Moving is not in the cars right now. Yeah, I figured it would be very difficult, Coolio right i literally just moved in may oh you moved in in may damn pooper scooper <laughs> my bad step one when she doesn't put her headphones back in after answering your questions with a short one two word yes you just look the first you just took the first time hold on what is this let me read this step one when she doesn't put her headphones back in after answering your question with a short one to two word answer you just took the first step ah is this uh, uh giving advice someone is it black 98 in for black 98 laugh, laugh. i never had a girlfriend and a weirdo only girlfriend i have i never paid attention to her she ended up ha leaving yeah you got to pay attention to your partner being in a relationship is hard work right but it's rewarding right it's like working out working out is hard work but it's rewarding right cooking amazing food sometimes takes a while but it's rewarding right sleep away chicho you're mentioning patience and savoring relationships but i've also remember your advice about short and intense relationships at the same time for sure of course that's why i say it's on a spectrum right that's why i say what do you want out of it right I've had very short, very intense relationships, which are amazing, right? Uh, yeah, some just lasted days, right? And we moved on. Coolio, Chicho, the roommate with asthma isn't the one bringing friends over. I am not even uh, stingy. I don't care what they do outside the house. That's their choice. But bringing need, a needless risk to our house is not. So you guys need to get together. So how many? How many of you is there, Coolio? So so far, there's three of you guys, right? Well, you guys need to sit down and put on some ground rules, right? If you and your friend that has asthma, if there's three of you, tell this third roommate, hey, listen, buddy. There's a pandemic going around. The numbers going through the roof. We really don't know what this thing is. I don't care what your political views are. You must understand there's something going on. Stop bringing people in. If not, get the F out, right? Democracy rules. If there's three of you, have a sit down. If there's four of you, have a sit down. If there's five of you, have a sit down. If it's just two of you, uh, it's one or the other, right? But if there's odd people, even if there's even people, have a sit down, Coolio. Why not? You should move move if you can't uh, communicate uh, about this sleepy wave says COVID ain't going anywhere yes yeah, not going anywhere it, it's fucked up if you have uh, someone uh, vulnerable living with you but if the roommate that has people over doesn't care at, at home they probably don't care what they do outside either meaning you will always be sick or have the potential right 
I have a romantic issue. I often think I like certain people, but I cool on them pretty quickly. Well, that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. Oh, crap. Check it out. Watermelon, some toast, and feta cheese. Okay. And that's what I got as snacks. It's crazy hot here right now. Is this going to focus? Look at that. Oh, is it going to focus? 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 It's not going to focus. Oh, oh, is it? Is it? Look at that. It doesn't know what to focus on. <laughs> watermelon feta cheese. Because watermelon gives you gas. So feta cheese is salty. And the bread is volume. And it's crazy delicious. And you can take them both in at the same time. All right? Very delicious. Coolio, it is just three. And sleep ways. Moving isn't financially in the cars right now. I'm saving for multiple reasons right now. And rent is affordable because we're made. Okay, cool. Coolio. There's three of you guys, sit down and talk. Before you contact the landlord, there's three of you guys. Sit down and talk between each other. If you can't come to a resolution, right? If two of you want to tell this one person not to bring friends over or reduce the number of friends, or if they're bringing friends over, make sure they go to their room. And if the third roommate is not willing and you can't compromise, then you can talk to the landlord, bring the outside party in. But there's three of you guys. You should be able to resolve the situation, right? I'm going to scroll down, gang. Zoot. Women are socialized to be accommodating to the point of literally putting uh, ourselves in danger. If you see fear, annoyance in her eyes, you screwed up. Uh, that I agree. If you see fear, you screwed up. Huge. Huge. Annoyance you could be playful and you're annoying them and by the way zoot i'm sorry if i'm deleting one of your things but i don't think um, i'm not really deleting it i'm specifying it because sometimes i'm annoying right but then people know who i am and they come to love me again <laughs> all right but uh yeah fear no if you scare someone you really cross the line right unless you meant to scare them uh, that's my my take on it COVID-19 is no joke nope cheese Graham what's your definition of crazy hot what's my definition of crazy hot oh, there's multiple definitions um, island king divinity Chicho me and my it depends on the mood I'm in me and my post most recent ex-girlfriend went on break after a few months because the timing was really bad with all the stuff we had going on plus COVID-19. I think the timing of your current life situation and your partners matters heavily for a relationship to be stable. 100% agree divinity, right? It really depends where you are in your life. I, I've been in relationships that unfortunately they were at the wrong time. Strawberry liqueur is ready and oh my God, this is so good so amazingly good really the strawberry liqueur like so yummy so yummy it's disappearing insanely fast cheryl agrees with zoot so i'm going to read zoot comment again okay zoot let's check this out recommendation gang regarding relationships quote women are socialized to be accommodating to the point of literally putting ourselves in danger if you see fear annoyance in her eyes you screwed up end quote this is advice from two women coming to you uh, um, because i'm assuming most of you guys here are guys right take these words to heart okay me being chicho i sort of said annoyance i've annoyed people before and then in the future we build an amazing relationship right sometimes you build an amazing relationship and then i start annoying them all right but if you're starting out uh fear and annoyance you screwed up gang okay 
take those words to heart uh, Coolio, I will try to talk to them about it about it after work tomorrow it's 3 uh, 11 30 p.m. here right now but yeah I've just been stressed due to my mom being a teacher and school starting back up soon her distinct uh, uh, her dis district still hasn't come up with a game plan yet yeah a lot of school districts haven't and by the way Coolio, your understanding accepting that you're in a stressed out situation right so that is really making you impatient sharp most likely right make sure you chew your words before you speak and keep in mind if the friend with asthma is okay with this friend bringing other friends over right then you've been outvoted so be willing to take accept the outcome of the discussion but talk about it and if the outcome is that then you can't push them anymore right because it was decided that it was okay to bring friends over you have to live with it you have to deal with it until you're willing to move out right you can't keep on saying i don't agree with the decision okay and you have to make that clear from the onset really because it could go in your favor as well it really depends on the asthma guy right i'm assuming and if he has asthma and if he's okay with a lot of people coming over then he's a dingling anyway so you really don't want to live in a household with a couple of dinglings right because the the guy who's bringing friends over even though he doesn't know what it is right he's willing to put the other friend that has asthma's life at risk and the guy with asthma is stupid enough to be willing to put hit to put his life at risk to accommodate another dingling so you're living in a house with two dinglings if it goes against you i don't know i've done that before myself too right but at some point you got a clean house yummy food i'm going back some dairy and food not looking for a partner right now but sometimes i get lonely and i miss having someone uh young uh, polax i think everybody's been in that situation i know i have right and you get frustrated sometimes you're too eager to hook up with someone or make new friends you just have to chill usually when you chill what you want comes your way i've never really liked feta though oh uh, watermelon and feta is amazing chicho you always have the best food <laughs> you gotta eat healthy man you want to live healthy you gotta eat healthy i'm in uh sleepy waves i'm in five months in a new relationship and i'm so in love i hope this isn't intense and short though doesn't seem like it okay good on you sleepy waves spider-man zoot that's 100 percent correct so spider-man agrees with zoot cheryl agrees with Zoot. got to agree with you there nice oh my god toes how are you doing chicho being annoying that's impossible oh spider-man indeed toes chicho is live chicho is live i'm scrolling down gangs i'm gonna do strawberry or watermelon next oh the strawberry is ridiculously good ridiculously like seriously and there's a couple of strawberries in this i put as well check it out i want to pop this one here's a strawberry right and the strawberry gets the liqueur flavor the alcohol flavor this is going to focus i don't think it's going to focus too dark very yummy very yummy divinity chicho do you have videos on making the strawberry liqueur yeah yeah check our liqueur uh videos it's the same recipe really and check out the last one this is the batch from the last one which was like a month ago right the last liqueur video will have the strawberries in there coolio chicho getting back to the stream topic a little more well your your discussion is uh stream topic i'd say relationship with oneself is underrated in our society I agree with you 100 percent i've learned a lot about myself after several good and several bad relationships but i've learned most from being single and learning to enjoy my life my own company when i needed to any advice on loving yourself any advice on loving yourself spend time alone solo 
for me, gang, uh, I don't know if I'm the best person to give relationship advice with, but I can let you know like what Coolio brings up here. I agree with 100%. For me, up to my early 30s, most of my life I spent single, right? I didn't get into long-term relationships, not often, not <laughs> often often is not even the right word right the relationships i was in were very short term and most of my most of my life was single right it was amazing i couldn't i couldn't grasp the concept where i had friends that jumped from one relationship to another relationship to another relationship to another relationship and whenever i wanted to do something with them they're like oh i gotta check with my, with my partner or their partner will come there's it's a dynamic of two people so how could you get to know yourself when you're always in a relationship? The dynamic is two people. If you want to get to know yourself, you have to be alone by yourself, right? As soon as you introduce one other person, the dynamic totally changes, right? So I agree. I think, like I t tell you the truth, I don't even think anybody in high school should be dating anyone else in high school on a long-term basis right like i had friends in high school that dated each other for three years oh my god it great in high school here is grade 8 9 10 11 12 for three years that we're together three out of five years of high school life when you're going through puberty and grow, you're you were with someone I, you know I, i'm pretty sure there's some of you who've done that but for me that was just and in high school everybody's going through puberty so everything's chaotic and everybody's crazy right so all of them i don't remember any one of my friends that were in relationships long term not fighting like i, I remember them not fighting but i there was uh, there was always fighting involved they'd be yelling and screaming i'm like jesus christ like <laughs> like wow like this is what you guys choose to be you know i i We'd be going to parties. I say, hey, gang, let's go to a party. And they're like, oh, I don't feel like... Uh, uh. One of them would really want to go. The other one wouldn't. So the one that really wouldn't want to go, wouldn't go. And if they went, you know, there was a little argument. It was just like, oh, my God, too much drama. Mr. Hezekiah, how are you doing? Hello, hello. Rocks. My advice on loving yourself is do what you love and get it 100%. And don't give a f what other people say. Yeah, that's pretty good advice. But be be kind, be courteous, right? Don't mess around with other people's ride, right? Just because you're on your ride, right? Haha, <laughs> Coolio says to Sleepy Way. Saw your comment about your relationship. Congrats. Enjoy every moment. Indeed. Yeah, I should have said that as well. Good job, Coolio. Mr. Hezekiah, I went down a succulent rabbit hole recently. I have a problem and a, and a grow lit light. Cannabis? Aha, uh -huh. succulents are cool. Is aloe a type of succulent? <laughs> aloe is a succulent. Aloe is a succulent. Thought so. Yeah. So they have uh, medicinal properties too. Yeah, aloe is really amazing. If you burn yourself, you break aloe leaves and rub it on your uh, burnt areas. It's very cooling. And you hold it, and then you can use multiple leaves. I highly recommend having aloes. Aloe is one of the most important medicinal plants ever, Graham says. Have you ever read or heard of the book, The Subtle Art of Not Giving Up? not given an f not given an f i haven't heard it coolio to young polacks i don't like that book at all that's what graham says you've read it graham i have but i don't like reading books huh uh young polacks you need to start reading some books anyway this one is short and sweet and the author has good sense of humor cool mr hezekiah i like succulents that look like they belong uh an alien world yeah indeed succulents are amazing and they're 
so easy to take care of so easy to take care of watermelon cheese right and a piece of toast black 98 i'm in the same time zone as you are it's 8 50 here as well 8 50 p.m i hope you're having a fantastic monday evening and this is so addictive Polacks, 5 40 45 a.m here wow 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 you're in the UK, Europe. More. Moonflower. It blooms in night. Nice. So it's a nightshade. Spider Man, yeah? Okay, I gotta stop eating the watermelon and cheese. Yeah, 8.45, 8.46. Belgium. It also climbs. Cool. Moonfire is a variety of morning glory. Oh, morning glory. Morning glories are, uh, from what I understand, uh, psychoactive entheogens right morning glories are cool very cool there are um the nightshades are amazing as well the tours they are psychoactive for sure psychedelic um the tours you don't want to mess around with that my mom used to grow moonflowers growing up i once stayed up uh until it bloomed and it was like uh, during a is moonflower the one with the flat leaves and then the the stems that come out and it looks like a like a head of a snake and then oh i have those those are amazing it opens up in the like around 12 or one o'clock in the morning looks like a damn alien the aroma is absolutely wild right and then come morning it just dies down that's the one i've had and i've and I've stayed up all night. There's a couple of times where they were flowering. I would stay up all night and watch them bloom and just spend the night with them. And when they closed off and died, I would uh, go to bed. Uh, amazing experience. The chicken turned out amazing. I'm gonna smoke some herb as well tonight. Nice, Anna. Enjoy, enjoy way easier ways to get high than morning glories yes indeed uh it is different though that's the one but yeah i haven't done personally i am very very in very large doses morning glory sees produce an lst type effect yeah but they are dangerous as well you have to make sure your diet is certain certain right what are those flowers called in uh, mario with those teeth in mario they were calling them piranha flowers piranha plants but i don't i don't think they're called they're they're uh, venus fly traps i think i'm not sure if piranha plants is really a thing in nature no they're not in the same family as poppy seeds as far as i know the morning uh, the nightshades or what did you call them Mo uh, moon flowers chicho i'm curious to hear your thoughts on ask versus guess culture communication styles as in as it pertains to relationship ask versus guess culture communication ask versus guess communication i think there's uh, i'm i'm not familiar with this i'm just trying to figure out what what it entails but for me there's always going to be guessing when you're getting into a relationship at first even 
in long-term relationship sometimes i assume my partner is thinking something and then it comes out that i was wrong and vice versa right and then there's times where i just straight out have to ask what they're thinking i think all relationship has to have both elements in them uh i don't i don't think either of them was absolute i think it's uh again it's a spectrum all right so go go back on relationships have i ever told you the story behind me and my wife no spider-man you haven't tell us about it Spider, do your first kiss better uh have been upside down in the rain nights <laughs> with the wife with the wife that's good spider-man says spider wife uh -huh. it was in an airport really but we've definitely done the spider-man kiss since then ah have you guys done the upside down kiss nice who's hanging Zoot, most important quality in a man you're not the overly emotional and hot-headed type we are going to piss you off things don't always go your way listen to mr Jinjo. <laughs> so zoot's zoot's advice most important quality in a man you're not the overly emotional and hot-headed type we are going to piss you off things don't always go your way and listen to mr chicho <laughs> funny coolio she's here Sp chicho we can have a live couple discussion with spider-man and his wife on your relationship stream <laughs> sure <laughs> what do you guys want to talk about she comes in clutch got to go to bed more work to do graham sweet dreams brother sweet dreams thank you for popping in i hope you have a fantastic day tomorrow okay and the whole week really your school work has started so uh, i hope you guys are getting enough rest and everything's being managed properly tell the story spider-man wife because i'm lazy <laughs> spider-man says <laughs> elder god to zoo today i'm too old for you too too bad for you too old too bad oh no 100 percent correct spider-man the man the legend smith how are you doing spider-man and but spider spider wife mj mary jane states we met on facebook in the asmr community we were friends online and started texting talking a lot playing video games together etc and kind of just fell in love but he lived in new york and i lived in washington state at the time wow 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 on the facebook asmr community facebook facebook asmr community very cool very cool and played video start playing video games together <laughs> awesome that's great she was working as a waitress in a cocktail bar name that song is it the eagles is it something from an eagles are you older than mr chicho the zoo is asking elder god i call him cutie all the time elder god is a younger cutie than uh than chicho <laughs> cheryl sending some love to spider wipe no a few years younger human league don't you want me baby don't you want me Ooh. who says that wait a second she was working as a waitress in a cocktail bar don't you want me baby don't you want me oh i have no idea who that is who is that coolio spider-man facebook asmr community in like 2011 2012 people had facebook profiles for their asmr youtube channels since it was such a small niche so you could say uh we were asmr hipsters nice spider-man nice spider-man already said it elder god already said it who's the, what did the elder god say elder god what did elder god say what did elder god say who was it who was it damn i missed it human league human league i'm not familiar with human league human league cool 
Spider-Man wife. But we started long distance dating anyway. We dated long distance for six months. And then I went to visit him for two weeks. Wow. First time seeing him in person? You visited him? Like in real life? On the day I had to leave, it was one of the hardest days of my life, Spider Wife says. I was crying in a, in a sandwich in the airport. <laughs> we decided we didn't want to do long distance anymore. So we saved up money and three weeks later I moved to New York. Wow, three weeks. Three weeks later, that's like Speedy Gonzalez style. Mr. Hezekiah, can I post a picture of my grow room to your discord it doesn't contain anything illegal sure uh, mr hezekiah yeah why not elder god uh, human league he was a big fan in the 1980s it's a one hit wonder song from the 80s is it one hit wonder i don't remember it at all i must know it we've been together ever since got married three years ago wow wow so you you were dating for a six months in 2011 2012 and then you went and visited for a couple of weeks uh, th uh that so you married for three years uh so you guys were dating for about living together for about five years before you got married right and i became the luckiest man on the planet spider-man steps in <laughs> spider-man steps in and says i became the luckiest man on the planet spider-man wife oh big love heart eyes <laughs> <laughs> spider-man crack response right gina how are you doing can someone post post it in a music channel in discord yeah please post it in a music channel i want to hear it you two are sweet cheryl says haha <laughs> yes first time seeing him i was there for two weeks wow that's why our first kiss was in an airport he was picking me up at the airport nice we actually started dating in 2014 wow 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 oh yeah that's right so you were in the asmr community for like two three years before you started dating and you married three years ago cool cool no human league were part of the new romantics they had a few hits did they okay cool is she a mary jane or a gwyn stacy she's an mj 100 percent stacy was uh you know didn't end well <laughs> in this universe anyway is she da, da, da. definitely mary jane definitely mary jane she's sassy and fun nice 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 hilarious fun salute everyone salute Sp spider-man and spider-man wife strawberry liqueur salute to you guys delicious delicious so good and by the way gang uh the strawberries this, this season are insane we already took two flats and ate whatever is left was left over in those two flats that we cleaned i made jam out of them and tomorrow we're getting another flat coming in and i'm gonna make more strawberry liqueur this thing's too sweet uh, too delicious uh this year's strawberries are insane so we're gonna have another strawberry liqueur going i gotta go to the store and get uh more vodka um spider-man says i'm very lucky to have her thanks for telling the story wifey thanks for the love guys ah oh, for sure spider-man i'll drink to that he says nice 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 i'm restocking all my liqueurs this weekend and getting a bigger mason jar <laughs> container <laughs> yeah you just go slowly bigger and more it's like oh my god you gotta have gotta have as soon as you run out of one of your favorite liqueurs you're like oh i ran out right spider-man says definitely not gwen stacy i really don't want my best friend dad to throw her off a bridge <laughs> indeed gonna make a big one with a fruit i haven't decided yet maybe peach or kiwi nice I would say peach would be more delicious than kiwi kiwi might have a little bit of sharpness to it which if you like would be cool all right smith says how much do you want for a bottle liqueur stream gina maybe 
we got to go blackberry picking right but i'm gonna get the strawberries tomorrow so the odds are i'm gonna make the strawberry liqueur in the next couple of days and i'm not gonna go blackberry picking in the next couple of days um we're trying we, we try to go blackberry picking but they weren't ready uh, the area we go to some other parts were but we couldn't get enough so we're waiting for our little place where we pick blackberries for them to be ready i hope we hit it on time my stash is getting to be ridiculous time to start sampling cheryl what uh, what i plan on doing at some point hopefully this year if things calm down a little bit is to have a liqueur party invite some friends over as a liqueur sampling and set things up and people can sample liqueurs and eat little bits of food i guess is there a way to make liqueur without alcohol uh for strawberries one thing i've done before which you can do do the same thing uh cut out, take out the green and i would cut them up and i would put them in a bowl okay and i would put sugar on top right mix it all up right so the sugar gets all over the strawberries and then put it in the fridge what happens is the strawberries uh, sort of liquid comes out and you get a liquid sweet liquid a uh, little bit you don't get as much as just adding vodka to it of course right you get sweet liquid syrup at the bottom of the bowl right you can eat the strawberries save the syrup and make like use it to make soda with soda water and stuff like this and you get a strawberry flavor right but i've done it it's not the same as this it really isn't i haven't tried with anything else if you try if it works let us know i'd like to try as well smith said i'll buy your bootleg island grown strawberry cherry island grown organic strawberry uh, liqueur right sherry sorry sherry not cherry sherry how tart is a lemon one does it taste like uh lemonade um that lemon you need to age as is aging you can sample i've been doing a little bit it's sharp but once it starts aging nicely it's uh m tastes more medicinal coolio it's very good i remember picking blackberries in the early 2000s i had a 9900 the battery life was great i don't know what that is 9900 coolio cheryl i had a stash built up but i gave one jar away and drank up almost all the rest of the others they're too tempting once they're all ready the pineapple one was so good pineapple was so good so good coolio coolio all this talk of human relationships and no talk of plant relationships when are we doing a plant relationship stream uh you mean entheogens uh, we could I just want to make sure we don't get the platform off twitch right we've done three of them and we talked a lot about entheogens right we only loaded one on youtube all three are available on bitshoot um so we can definitely do another one on entheogens or plant relationships in general right and one thing we haven't really talked about is your relationship with your government your relationship with your with corporations they're different right like for me when i my relationships i have categories of relationships just like anyone else right for me it's been seldom that i go out and party with people i work with i usually in general keep my work friends as work friends which i really don't have very many now because i've been privately working doing my own thing uh, without really being within a community of teachers or geophysicists and stuff like this right but in general i kept my work friends separate i kept my pool club friends and friends like that separate i had certain types of friends that i did certain things with i had different types of friends that i did different things with sometimes these friends over here they could have been some of my best friends and they are some of my best friends and these friends over here they're they're some of my best friends and they have never ever met right because they live totally different lives right so the relationship is so huge so huge right uh spider-man speaking of relationships i'm very grateful for all of the friends i've made through the chicho community and your friendships especially chicho we are all fun uh, we are 
all a fun bunch indeed and thank you guys as well i feel exactly the same way as spider-man right what a amazing experience right decentralizing our minds reading comics talking about life and drinking liqueur couldn't be better couldn't be better i agree with, i agree i sort of when i started doing this i sort of i'm open uh, you know i take the words of bruce lee to heart right and he was quoting someone else be like water my friend right so let life take you on that ride and i learned that through entheogens for the most part right because if you try to control your ride <laughs> you might have a very very bad trip right so just go with the ride go with the flow um and uh, that's that's a bit of advice i can give you guys in life make sure you cover your ass and land on your feet and whatnot and you're wise enough to know where it is you're going and who you're going there with and what type of situation you put yourself in sometimes going with the flow can really mess up your life so be aware be cautious right but don't try to control everything in your life it doesn't work relationship with our government is just terrible i feel yeah i think that's the majority of humanity their relationship with the government is miserable right unless you're part of the government right smith wait what's a plant relationship I, I like dating a plant uh gardening yeah perps could be gardening growing food and definitely entheogens entheogens is a relationship if you're if you go down that route shaman uh have a relationship with nature with plants with entheogens with fungi right a shaman and a tribe their relationship is much more powerful between their allies and in general in the shamanistic world you western terminology anyway you call them allies if you've experimented with entheogens um, enough then you have certain allies right or a certain ally that is a relationship right for me i have certain allies and my relationship with those entities those plants in general is much stronger than my relationship with most of other human beings that i know okay very powerful very powerful coolio the u.s government and i are taking a hiatus from each other and i'm going to seek other governments for a while in a year or so love out love zoot chicho moonshine but lots of uh, uh mocktail recipes out there just as yummy as a traditional cocktail yeah maybe just one and a half, four and a half months elder god says don't remind me coolio says elder god coolio the woman is a crazy bee spider-man taking a break nice i'm gonna eat some more i'm at the bottom of chat gang i'm gonna eat some more cheese watermelon feta watermelon very delicious by the way gang thank you for the follows thank you for the subs i appreciate them and thank you for the conversations and the love right and the advice pop a little bread usually flat bread is the best for this okay but i haven't found a good flat bread source here feather cheese and watermelon and this one has a little bit of seeds in it right nice coolio chicho when i'm president of the united states in a decade or two from now what movie would you like to watch on the on the white house lawn while you eat dolmas and drink fruit liquor <laughs> what movie <laughs> politics on another stream coolio <laughs> but i'm assuming if you become president 
then the United States is in good hands, right? And there'll be good people there, right? So, what movie on the lawn in the White House? What movie? What movie would we want to see on the lawn of the White House? Good question. Oh God, I'm dating a girl who is 28 years younger than me. Is age a consideration in relationships? Uh, I've never really thought about it that way. 28 is getting up there, but good on you, brother. <laughs> Staying in shape, healthy, and relevant uh, is paying off, right? And obviously, being smart about things, right? Uh, I don't think so, personally like 10 years difference is not a big deal as far as i'm concerned right uh, when you're getting into 20 could be depends on the mentality right uh, 28 why not right if you guys are enjoying each other's company i'd be why not fantastic i hope the ride is sweet days and confused smith says it's a consideration coolio says coolio to elder god it's a consideration if there's legal yeah for sure we're not going there with it right uh, if there are legal issues but i dated a woman 15 years older than me before cool women tend to mature faster than men in my experience too yeah i think everybody's experience coolio right uh, everybody's experience and in a huge way it's when they when women go through puberty their experience you know for men for males it, it is traumatic as well it is heavy and sends you on a loop but for women it's a lot more man like we have to build a really huge appreciation for what women go through when they go through puberty how traumatic that is and if they don't have the right support system and whatnot right every 28 days you're reminded of what's going on there's something going on something's changed right uh there's cramps pain uh, it's huge it's huge it's huge it's something that i didn't have an appreciation for for the longest longest time right smith i've never met someone older than me smith how old are you 110 years old divinity uh oh, elder god that's uh that's all a little weird <laughs> but it's legal so i guess it's fine yeah i wouldn't i don't have any problems with it she's 19 oh elder god there it is she is 19 but with the brain of a 40 year old hell yeah and the spirit matters as well right awesome elder god i'm very happy for you brother if you found someone that you want to spend a lot of time with and you guys are enjoying each other why not why not oh there's a little moth here <laughs> you can still in school <laughs> Turn right. i'm three days older than god smith says older than the dirt i sleep in that's for sure you might be a vampire but the vampires run around so you have to be like three three how old how many olds three what three days so you're 14.75 billion years old my oh my if you aren't in college yet you'll meet lots of people your age and above and below yeah and even in high school you, you must you must know people you must know people cheese and watermelon can't mess with this like so good right super delicious
Yeah, cool, yeah. I think, I think everybody in general has broken hearts. So Coolio's question is, Chicho, have you broken any hearts? Any marriage proposals you had to turn down? Yeah. And I've had my heart broken as well. That is part of the experience. If you have your heart broken, you're a lucky human being because you love someone on a level that you could have your heart broken, right? And if you've broken someone's heart, you're a lucky person because you had someone love you to a level that you could break their heart. That's amazing. There are some people that never experienced that, right? It's difficult. It's difficult. He had to tell Serge Tagian he was his father. <laughs> Weasel Bees 2020. That means I, I I fathered Serge when I was like six months old. I don't think I don't think I hit puberty that early, man. Elder God, if I did that, the guy would have to be fifty six. I think my parents would have a big issue with me doing that, and I have three older brothers. But sure, why not? Sure, why not? I think the most important thing in a relationship is mutual ground. I have been with a a lot of women but i have never loved oh you haven't loved do you love this uh your partner right now elder god getting your heart broken leaves you with some scars sure is growing pains why not right have you ever played sports do you love playing sports did you learn a lot from those sports have you ever had an injury from a sport it's part of the game if you if you're afraid to get scars uh, you're not living right have you ever tried running a business have you experimented with anything there's always pain and growth always always even physically there's pain and growth right when you're growing up when you're going through puberty when you get growth spurs there's physical pain right coolio sometimes as cliche as it sounds you have to stumble into love it always seems to come around when you stop looking for it. That doesn't mean you can't stay active. I personally don't like that term. If you, if you're, Coolio, uh, if you're chasing it, if you're trying to force it, yeah, I don't think you'll find love. But if you're open to receiving it, if you reach out, then you will encounter it, right? Without being aggressive with it right so some people take that what you just said uh, it always seems to come around when you stop looking for it. some people take that advice and they don't even participate if you don't even participate then you're a nihilist so you have to participate okay oh elder god the zoot i have met her father he was okay with me cool that's cool coolio that's what i was trying to say be open to it but don't let it consume your whole life yeah if it becomes an obsession man you're gonna have a bad time kelator it is better to have loved and lost than never have loved at all agreed 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 and that that phrase has been used in many movies music and all kinds of things unless someone uh kick blocks you happens to me a lot oh <laughs> what dude perps you gotta hang out with the wrong different people and when you're younger growing up i've had that happen too right when you're interested and then your friends step in and do this you're like dude that's part of youth that's part of desperation from their part that's part of moving around in a crowd right your group you move together and it becomes more difficult if you want to get find a really intimate relationship intense relationship stop traveling in a pack right that's one bit of advice i can give you if you want to find someone new someone unique someone different someone that you can share things with outside of your world right because that's what really intimacy is it's not the public uh, face of you it's the not public face of you right 
then start don't stop traveling in packs right like really that's huge like i've been interested i can honestly tell you i've been interested in people to get to know them more and stuff right and they always travel in a pack they always had friends around right after hanging with them for a little bit and interacting you, this 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 for me anyway i wasn't into being with a crowd i already have my crowd i got you know there's a lot of people i know i don't even have time to hang around the people that i really care about like in very close to me right no we don't even eat on that one but i'm not interested in if i want to find intimacy traveling in a pack to find one person and then convince them not to travel in that pack so we could just be together i think that's one mistake a lot of people do they you know when they go out they always go out in groups stop going out in groups i know there's safety factor there and stuff like this especially for women right that you need you can't go somewhere by yourself uh to meet new people if you don't have a little bit of protection that goes with guys as well by the way right uh, some people might think just because we're guys we have it easier not necessarily okay uh, but we have a lot we have it a lot easier than most women out there most women have to consider many many things okay uh, before they can venture out or go to new places i know this because of just being around long enough to see what takes place right there's some bad people out there okay you have to be aware of that right coolio how do you think uh, the internet has changed modern dating relationship do you think it's more good or bad overall in terms of human uh, human connections i think it's you know I, I don't know the stats if more people are staying married or longer term or stuff i don't know the internet is just a tool right look at spider-man and spider wife they met online right so it does open up your world a lot more so it makes it global in large part but people make mistakes right so i don't know i think it's just a tool use use your tools <laughs> as best as you can i guess elder god i'm not sure i am capable of my intellect is more important than uh, my emotions it wasn't a choice it just is understandable right but i'm pretty sure elder god you care deeply for many people right and i'm positive you love your family so we're talking about intimate love the other loving the other making them a part of you is that what we're talking about baby bear incel echo chambers versus online dating uh, what about them friends co-workers family acquaintances perps says jaded mass thank you very much for the tier one sub appreciate it coolio elder god have you considered that those two things don't have to be mutually exclusive you can have both ah very well put coolio yeah you can have both right baby bear i wonder how much of that is just deeply closeted homosexuality constantly being on the boys and all well the girls do it too but i don't think it's uh has to do with homosexuality i traveled with a pack for a certain period right that's what i wanted to do and there were times where i really wanted to <laughs> wanted to <laughs> get to know someone more but i'm with a pack and the pack does what pack does right and then later on you're like damn i should have shouldn't have been there with a the pack i should have been there solo right and then you start introducing solo encounters into your life gaming anarchism how are you doing does anyone ever does anyone else feel that human relationships have become more difficult with the way society has isolated us and chained us to work um, and online consumption there's no more public forums and community gathering places that aren't centered around alcohol um gaming anarchism i don't think that has to do with uh what do you call it human relationships are more difficult in the society has been isolated uh da, da, da. 
agreed in the Western world, alcohol, a lot of things revolve around alcohol, but those are restaurants, clubs, uh, bars, and whatnot. And you can build some amazing relationships in those places centered around alcohol, but you can't just, some people can, I guess, but you can't just have that type of relationship. It, it's not a, if you hang around a bar long enough or a club long enough, it gets a little depressing if you see the waves of people coming in, especially bars when there's bar flies and stuff like this, right? Uh, it gets sort of heavy and it goes through waves. Sometimes it's very light, it's amazing. It goes through waves just like life. Um, but I don't, I don't consider it more difficult. Like right now, we're having amazing discussions of, you know, we've built amazing friends on this community, right? Uh, people are sharing things and we care about each other. There's advice being shared and whatnot. Is it on a level where, you know, you might have known someone in person for 20 years? No, not yet. We've only been here for two years, a year max. So I disagree. I don't, uh, I think amazing relationships can still be built and are still built, right? Uh, infra black infra black 98 my dream is is travel to india when i reach 30 and learn the secrets of meditation and religion uh, why do you have to go to india to learn those secrets you can learn those secret secrets anywhere you can go to on top of the mountain and live in a mountain for five years in isolation and learn meditation and religion All right beans how are you doing so my significant other and I fell in love unintentionally after meeting on Tinder. Such a unique experience to create a relationship with someone you've never met before. Cool. Awesome beans. And I know a few people that I've met online and they're, they've been together for a very, very long time, right? Coolio to gaming anarchism. They do exist. You're sh uh, are you sure you've looked in the right places? There are communities for everything. Yeah. Uh, but I agree with gaming anarchism. Alcohol is a central focal point for many people in the Western world. But that being said, there are different types of clubs, groups that you can join to go participate in a certain activity. And if you meet someone there that interests you, you can pursue it outside of that club, right? Killator, I feel too that in order to find happiness and uh, happiness and love, one must find happiness alone, because you will rely on that love for happiness and will not function correctly when it is not there or around. I think you have to be able to to be able to uh, be comfortable being completely by yourself before you'll find success and love. The love should enhance the self, not absolutely uh, define it. Agreed with you very much, uh, Killer Tor. Now, one other addition to this I would make. Sometimes you stumble into relationships and it's by circumstance. And you're in that relationship because the person you're in a relationship with might be so different than what you're used to. Cherish those relationships because you're in that relationship for a reason maybe because you're intrigued by it you want to know what that mindset entails and all of that really is about you growing learning from your partner i think what happens is a relationship has matured where or coming to its end when you're not surprised by your partner when you're not growing when you're not learning new things from your partner when they're not challenging you in terms of the way you are right not in a bad way by the way but if you do something they're not always yes men or yes women yes partners to say yeah 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 they go hey wait a second maybe you were in the wrong there right in that sense right so we need to grow 
with our relationships gaming anarchism online dating functions too much like becoming a salesman and the product is yourself how do you find romance in that process online relationship is not the end all and be all of a relationship online relationship is just a way to open the door and i'm totally okay with it because the way our society is structured sometimes it's difficult to figure out what people are all about if you only encounter them in person and you don't have enough time to get to know them better so it's sort of a filter mechanism right for example gaming anarchism online dating right let's say you create your profile you come across a profile let's say you're interested in this person and this person says i don't want to be in a relationship with a smoker that's the end of it and you're a smoker well you got two choices you can just move on or you can contact that person and say listen i'm a smoker but i love your profile i love what you're about and i'm in a state in my mind right now that i'm in the process of reconsidering my choices regarding smoking are you into just getting together for a little bit or talking a little bit online to see if you might even be interested in who i am and maybe we can pursue this further right it's the honesty aspect of it right online dating there's a lot of profiles that are garbage and stuff like this people are fooling themselves right there are a lot of profiles that are 100 percent exactly what that person is looking for there are profiles out there that say specifically look man i'm just i'm just into this for the physical if you got hang-ups about being physical with someone that you might become intimately attached to someone move along right and if a person decides to hook up with this person and gets attached emotionally to this person and this person says you know man I, I i told you where i was at you need to move along and this person gets hurt they learn the lesson right take it for what it is right and if they're not able to deal with that then too bad you were fooling yourself if you thought you could change this person first of all so one thing always remember never get into a long-term relationship if your plan is to change that person if your plan is to change a person you're an idiot right you're controlling you live in a bubble and it's going to burst on you in such a way that it's going to maybe knock you out right so one bit of advice never get into a relationship trying to change a person accept who they are not necessarily what they do but their 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 right to choose to do what it is that they want to do right don't try to control anyone's life it is their ride you're just there to enjoy their ride right if you start messing around with their ride they have the right to kick you out okay okay i'm gonna scroll down a little bit killer we are so socialized through capitalist marketing media that we are shown that love is and should be so we have this uh, fanciful idea and expectation of what it is supposed to be so when we experience it it does not equate to that ideal we don't accept it killer i 100 percent agree with you people go into these relationships with this preconceived notion of what it should be right <laughs> which is insane right which is absolutely insane to me right when i was younger i was insane that's what i thought as well right and as you grow older you realize man i was duped corporations did this to me and i willingly participated in that garbage right and then you grow older and wiser and you realize man life is much grander than airbrushed pictures right just some badge for something twitch is promoting coolio says <laughs> i missed it to spider-man 
Julio to Killa. 100% agree. A lot of people set their expectations and relationships to what they see in movies and TV shows, and it's ridiculous and leads to poor relationships. Yeah. Yeah. Agreed, agreed, agreed. Coolio, adventure is a focal point for me. If a girl I'm interested in is spontaneous, it's an instant attraction for me. Very cool. Yeah. And everybody has different attractions, right? Spontaneity is fantastic. black 98 to be happy in love just find one person that likes the same stuff that you like um i don't know about that black 98 find one person that appreciates the stuff that you love they don't necessarily have to like the stuff that you like but they appreciate that you have a passion for certain things right that's what you think anyway it's a good start <laughs> i'm being critical here but yeah for sure why not find stuff that you both like right coolio i'm not much into that type of thing but i'll give it a look some things in life you just got to find through good old trial and error trial and error is always good maddie gg how you doing how's life hope you're doing well Ah, more more watermelon and cheese gang delicious hope you guys have good snacks what are you guys eating tonight or today or this morning <laughs> all of this came out chaotic elder god what is all that You paste it. <laughs> so Coolio said, Oh, it's like Myers Briggs. I have no idea what Myers Briggs is. Night off work, Maddie G says. This thing's so addictive. Crazy. Cheese and watermelon. Okay, that's enough. It's gotten so crazy hot here that we're just consuming a lot of uh, fruits and water and well, the cure dehydrates, but it is what it is. Salute, gang. Here's a second strawberry. What? Ooh, ooh. Is it going to focus? Is it going to focus? Look at that. I got a mosquito kicking around here. Salute. Maddie G, I live alone, work second shift, 3 p.m. to 11 p.m. I find I am comfortable alone. Yeah, I might be happier in a relationship, but dating is weird in 2020. If you're not a bar goer, it's like more difficult to meet someone in real life versus a mundane dating app. Yeah. Uh, the bar thing is, man, I've, I've, I've made some amazing friends through the bar scene through the club scene i really have right 
Uh, so it's not all bad. It's not all bad. It's just uh, sometimes it's, it takes a lot of energy and a lot of money sometimes, right? Watermelon is so good on hot weather, like uh, 107 Fahrenheit today. I was eating watermelon all day. It's so refreshing, so refreshing, Black 98. I've been eating watermelon. And this is like my third bowl of watermelon today <laughs> this this much Zare, how you doing yo chicho how's the weather up there hot hot it's like uh it was like 30 31 degrees celsius here which is pretty hot for these parts right i know in la it's probably not that hard coolio do you think there are things worth fighting over sure like if you love someone a lot and they want kids but you don't should you fight to stay in the relationship or is that a good enough uh pretense to live leave the relationship this scenario is hypothetical um brother coolio having kids is a big deal right if there's a partner that wants kids and the other one that doesn't want kids and they've been straight off from the beginning this partner says they want kids this partner says they don't want kids you can be together for a little bit of time right but there's a clock for women and for men as well really right there's a clock ticking so after a certain amount of time if there is no compromise there and seriously if the person that wants to have kids has has to compromise that deep down desire to want to have kids to be with this person that's a huge sacrifice right and vice versa if the person doesn't want to have kids ends up having kids because of this person the kids might suffer right the family suffers the relationship suffers for me wanting to have kids and not wanting to have kids is a big deal it's a big deal okay spider-man watermelon is a perfect uh summer food indeed maddie gg in my late 20s i feel like uh, that's the only way to meet someone the whole swipe left or right is really surface level in my opinion uh, sometimes you need a door open maddie right and maybe you're not there but it is a tool don't just dismiss it right off the bat right you can say oh it's a tool that i don't want to use right so for example for someone that's not into going to clubs clubs it doesn't mean clubs aren't a good place to meet people it's not a great place to meet people well, you can still meet people in clubs right so it is still a place where you can meet people right but if you don't want to use that tool don't killer what about the monogamy can we talk about that sure perhaps uh, perhaps is monogamy just the socialized norm that we've been taught is supposed to be just like the capitalist media we were talking about earlier just the thought i am married and faithful but it's food for thought that said i suppose someone could say that almost anything is merely just a social construct uh killer i agree there's a huge social element to it i'm on the same mindset as wilhelm reich and uh, terence mckenna and whatnot right i think uh the marriage thing the monogamy thing has been overblown however i think personally uh, monogamy is an amazing state of being right so i think it's a personal choice i think the taboo on uh, having multiple partners is dissipating slowly right however having multiple partners can be exhausting can be draining right and can be noisy where it becomes difficult to make the right choices so i think it's very much personal but i think people should always uh remember there and this goes for if you're you know if a person wants to have a kid not have a kid if one person doesn't want to be monogamous and the other one does and you get together and the person that doesn't want to be monogamous just keeps on saying listen i don't want to be monogamous i want multiple partners and you say no 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 that relationship is doomed right there has to be some kind of compromise right 
And is the compromise worth it? Black 98. But I never tried watermelon with cheese. Oh, what kind of cheese are you eating? I'm eating feta. Cheese and watermelon. They were they were made to be eaten together. Really? Che uh, watermelon is gassy. So you need something salty. And feta is a fantastic thing. Uh, as a salty food. And chunks of feta. Words of advice don't eat too much watermelon late at night. You have to get up in the middle of the night to go pee. And bread. The moment you, young Polak says, the moment you have kids, your life is over. And he's laughing, right? However, he is 100% correct. The moment you have kids, your selfish nature that your life is about you is over. Your life, your central focal point should be about raising kids, okay? Your life is over once you become a parent because it's not your life anymore. It's yours as a collective, as a family. Okay, very important. People can say that, ha ah, your life is over, but your life is over. It's not your life anymore, your solo life. You have other people that really are gonna depend on you for not a week, a month, a year, 10 years, but for a lifetime, okay? Toes, I'm more pumped than all you. Oh, we're almost at the end, Toes. I like kids, but raising one is so expensive and hard. You need to work so much and so much responsibility. For me, it's not the expense part of it. For me, it's the responsibility part of it. My God, I will never have kids. I have two nieces, perfect blend of family and freedom. Elder God. <laughs> tick, tick. Aculia, I personally don't want kids uh, currently, but as uh, as I've gotten older, I'm more open to the idea down the road. But it depends largely on where I am and the state of the world. Kids, kids, kids. Those says. I'm with. I'm. I'm a South Park thing. What do you do with the with the with the baby? You kick the baby. <laughs> That's a, that was a huge part of South Park for the longest period of time. The baby. Baby goats are also called kids. Fun fact. Are they? Baby goats are called kids? I didn't know that. Have you ever tried peanut butter and bacon? Mm, peanut butter and bacon. I don't think I've tried peanut butter and bacon, but that sounds fantastic. Bacon with anything sounds fantastic. Bro, I'm about to... Uh, for the, Got no soap. Da, da, da. Drink some water and have a lie down. Drink some water and have a lie down. <laughs> Toes, are you are you going crazy on us? Best advice I got. Dog people should be with dog people and cat people should be with cat people. Know if you're a dog or a cat person or no animal person. Right? But yeah. Uh Maladras. Uh, in agreed but there are people uh, dog and cat people together right but the gist is there right dog people and cat people I give you my advice the rest is up to you yeah Ch -ch -ch. gang we're almost at the end should we call the stream let's call the stream gang how's our is recording going good 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 i always check the recorder here just to see where the battery thing is i'll have to change the batteries on it live and learn toes live and learn no toes has just lifted some weight <laughs> hello there dib how are you doing gang thank you for being here thank you for the discussions uh thank you for the subs thank you for the follows thank you for the advice the recommendations and the stories right I hope uh, you guys have had a fantastic evening or having a fantastic morning or afternoon. Okay. You know what they say, 
what doesn't kill you makes you stronger it was fun it was fun gang if you want to know who i am what i'm up to what we're doing patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho chy cho if you want to support this work patreon is a fantastic way to do so i don't put anything behind paywall everything's creative commons share and share alike we are live streaming this on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash chicho live, C-H-Y-C-H-O-L-I-V-E. If you want to participate in these discussions as we're having them in the chat, Twitch is where you want to be at. Okay. And again, mods, thank you for taking care of business. Those of you on Patreon, thank you for the support. It is because of your support and those who are subscribing, uh, commenting, following. It is because of you that we're able to do this work. I do announce these platforms, 30 minute platforms, these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on Elo, VK, Gabs, Minds, Parlor, and Twitter. If you want to follow this work, those platforms is also a good way to do so, and the links will be in the description of this video. Okay. We will be uploading the audio of this discussion to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho c h y c h o for those that just want to listen to the audio of these discussions okay so you can follow the work there and they should be available the podcast should be available on your favorite podcasting platform as well including spotify my pleasure gang my pleasure and we will be uploading this video this live stream to youtube and bitshoot and you can follow this work on those platforms everything goes to bitshoot and most things are uploaded to youtube uh sensors permitting of course okay aside from that again thank you for the support thank you for the love thank you for the discussion thank you for the follows shares uh advice and all your stories gang and if you're around tomorrow at 8 p.m movies 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 we're gonna do a movie club live stream and uh the chat is gonna recommend movies we're gonna run polls and we're gonna pick anywhere between three to four movies i guess to watch for the next two to three weeks three weeks most likely or within a month and then we're gonna have a discussion on those movies the way we did in the last batch okay gang so tomorrow at 8 p.m pdt my time if you're into movies, join us. Bye, everyone. I hope you have a fantastic next uh, 24 hours or so, or 22 hours. I'll see you guys in 22 hours. Bye, everyone.